Okay, this is Kastra Junior again. Last time we have learned how to use the planes, 3D text, swipe editor, textures and background. Today we will be learning about the primitives, analytical primitives and the trains. First we will be learning about primitives, analytical primitives. Click on it. There are four types of shapes in, in analytical primitives. Select one of them. I am selecting sphere. You can change the uh, radius of the sphere to whatever you want I'm selecting the 50 click on create and then on name you know it I have told you this in my previous uh, part of tutorial mm, now go to your primitives panel and select also one of the texture I'm selecting this one click you can change the radius 1 radius 2 and hide you can also change the resolution to high or low uh, click on create and then click on name okay now it has been added to our perspective panel it is looking awesome like a globe standing on a stand uh, we can also give textures to it uh, go to your library then select one of the texture I am selecting the texture of a bark at project and then click on assign to selection and then click on ok we can also give a texture to the sphere uh, select a texture go to your library mm, I am selecting this one click on add to project and then on ok and now when we will render it Oh, sorry. The texture has not been added to the sphere. I'm going again. Uh, select the texture and then click on. As you can see, there is no texture here. So as you can see, you can click on Assign to Selection and then click on OK. Now the texture has been added. And now when you will render it, you will be able to see the cool reflection. Uh, you are not able to see the shadow because I have not put it any plane in it. So I'm putting a plane. Click on Plane, then click on Create and now by using the moving tool I have told you this about in my previous tutorial if you don't if you haven't seen it see it by clicking on the annotation right here in the right uh, top left corner okay and now when we will render it we will also be able to sh see the cool shadow we can also give a texture to the plane and now we have learned about the primitives and, anal and anal analytical primitives I'm sorry um, my computer is lagging a lot because of my screen recording software so sorry for that and sorry for my bad quality of files okay well now we have learned about the primitives and analytical primitives now we will be learning about the trains so new your scene click on file and then on new click whatever you want okay click on train uh, there are many trains uh, made by the cyber motion 3d designer already made by the cyber motion 3d designer you can also edit them by going into the edit panel and you can emboss it, rise it or lower it you can change the type of the brush to the square or the circular you can change the effects given by the brush to V, U or rectangular you can change the strength uh, the st what the strength does is the power of embossing or lowering the train ok uh, click on sphere and select the type emboss it, it will be embossed uh, to create it click on load and then click on create and then on name and then your train should be added as mine uh, added to your scene as mine and you can also change the background to something else like I'm changing this one is looking good click on it click on load and then click on ok and now uh, Mm. and now the background has been added to the train when we will render render it will look very much awesome you can also emboss as I have told you before you can also emboss or lower the train or add some trees uh, to it by using the primitives and analytical primitives render it it will look awesome yes looking awesome as I have said before uh, the cool shadow and uh, uh, cool background looking awesome it is looking like a real picture you can also add some trees or write your name by using the 3d text let me use a 3d text um, modeling oh sorry really much sorry m o d l i n g you can also change the font I have told you all of these bef in my before tutorial the last previous tutorial you can go there and mm, click on create and then on mm, computer is lagging a lot because of my screen recording software so sorry for that click on name and uh, mm, logging a lot 
now and now by using the moving tool move it up a little bit so you will be able to see it more clearly uh, yes N and when you will render it when you will render it mm, lagging a lot there must be a virus in my computer yes looking awesome as you uh, as you can see uh, you can add trees to it and make it more awesome by your thinking if you are very good if um, okay meet you next week with very new cool awesome tutorial subscribe to get stay up uh, stay updated with my channel and uh, in this tutorial we have learned about primitives analytical primitives and trains in the next tutorial we will be learning about animation so get ready for it for that and subscribe to get stay update updated like this video if you don't get it see it again and again goodbye